Just the leader from Rebel Roger. Desi Madonna is just in third ahead of Midnight in Venice. Then comes Carla Glenn, who was a little bit novicey. Daring Decoy and Mr. Mayer. The back marker, and I'm sure that one will be pleased that there is no open ditch to jump in this race. So they have this long run to the next row of three fences. Next one to take will be the sixth, sixth, seventh, and eighth before the turn in towards the home straight for first of two occasions. I must apologise, I haven't got a rideless horse. It's preceding the field. They now head towards the next obstacle. Donald Chop has just got the advantage over Desi Madonna on the inside. Midnight in Venice and Rebel Roger, Carla Glenn. Daring Decoy and Mr. Mayo is last of those that continue. So they'll shortly be making the run towards the middle of the three fences on this side from the course. Just meeting it now. Golden Chocolate touched down by a half a length over Midnight in Venice. And out wide is Rebel Roger, Desi Madonna, and Carla Glenn. Behind Carla Glenn. After a break of two lengths, he's daring decoy, and still at the back of the field, detached is Mr. Mayo. There's some on the line beyond the Glen, covering the Richard Smith. So, turning back towards us, and running on towards the fence up for the last of the circuit's time. This time, it's number nine. The pace has yet to really be increased. Golden Chocolate and Claire Hartley by a couple of lengths over Rebel Roger and Jack Jordan in second place. These two are being closely pursued by Max Johnson aboard Desi Madonna, who have rather reached for that fence in third. Midnight in Venice, and then comes Carla Glenn, who's just being shaken up a little on his debut. Daring Decoy and Mr. Mayhem, despite some very slow jumps, is still going, but would be detached, and Manchester must be considering whether to go out onto another circuit or not. Well, that one is tailed off. The others now go downhill slightly on towards the next row of three fences. We've got eight more to take. It's Belgian Chocolate. is a couple of lengths in advance over Rebel Roger with Desi de Madonna sitting in third place. Midnight in Venice and Carla Glenn who continues to be shaken up. Then comes Daring Decoy. I'll tell you that Richard Smith is on his feet and Mr. Mayer went even slower than that fence needed previous occasion. So now they race towards the last on the side of the course before entering the back straight for the final time. At long last, Mr. Mayhem is being pulled up. Daring Decoy is detached and there's a group of five tightly grouped and they're 
crashing to the ground was, I think it was Rebel Roger. Rebel Roger is out of that fence. Uh, seemed to slither on landing and the horse is galloping loose and the rider is being attended to by the paramedics and all of a sudden they've become well spaced out. Belgian chocolate is clear of his field. I do apologise, having tried to commentate without any binoculars makes life very difficult. Uh, and it wasn't Rebel Roger that came down, so apologies sir. Uh, meanwhile the field head on towards the end of the back straight. And it's Belgian chocolate from Rebel Roger. They're clear from Daring Decoy and Midnight in, Valent, in Venice. And these appear to be the only four still going as they come on the run back towards us with just about, I'd say, four and a half furlongs to race and four fences in which to take. And Claire has got a clear advantage aboard Belgian chocolate by the looks of it. Good. 15 lengths clear. And the daring decoy took a horrendous fall and midnight in Venice was very badly hampered and was almost brought to a standstill. And while all this is happening, Belgian chocolate is now, must be very nearly a distance clear. And I'm afraid falling there was Rebel Roger, so we've only got just the one going, is it? Midnight in Venice is continuing. But he's going, oh, he's going very slowly, Belgian chocolate is virtually so low. The second last. And Midnight in Venice is, by the is persevering. So they turn back towards us, the leader does anyway, virtually only one in the race. Belgian chocolate, this mare, trained by Jackie Coward with Claire Hart aboard, will take the final fence in splendid isolation, comes towards the last and Belgian chocolate didn't jump it very well the rider had to pay the cap but in all honesty it will make zero difference up towards the finish Belgian chocolate being followed home by the rideless grey horse daring decoy I think we might have two finishes because coming towards the last after an aggressive ride from Joe Wright, he won't complete the trouble, but he'll finish second or midnight in Venice.